Well, that was a good idea at the time. <laughs> um, I was sitting here in Melbourne, <clears throat> and years before I'd um, come up with this thing, I'd been out to casting for acting jobs. And I watched the process of how they worked. You go in for the casting, then you go back for the audition, and they record everything on VHS tape, and then it was express post off to the, the whoever. Um, and I, I thought, this is such a laborious waste of time. And uh, there was a couple of techie guys I knew, and I said, I wonder if there's a way where we could actually beam video onto people's computers from a different location. So you got the ad agency or the producer of what the film or TV show. And then the casting director has a camera that is then beaming the pictures to their computer. Can we do that? And they, oh, I've never heard of such a thing. So anyway, we experimented and we eventually uh, managed to um, get pictures going from one room to another on a computer. And this is long before Skype. Uh, but we just ran out of cash and, you know, it did kind of went nowhere. And then years later, and I'd already registered the name Real Time Casting. And then years later, I got a, um, a job sent to me via one of the online uh, casting sites. And uh, it, was, it came via the casting site in the US from Sydney. And it was for a corporate narration, which would pay here 450 or whatever it was at the time. And the guy was offering like 50 bucks or whatever. And he contacted me directly through the site. Anyway, so I sent him a note saying, look, you, you know, there's no way I'm going to work for that. And you, you know, you're, you're in Sydney. It was a Sydney University guy. And I said, you know, you want to be really careful because you're going to get black banned. It's a small industry here. And th they don't like that sort of thing. And anyway, that sort of exploded into this absolute argument and threats from all over the place. And I sat down after that and thought, I've got an idea for this real-time casting name. Let's do a union-based voiceover casting service. So we're giving the union talent the same tools that the non-union talent have had for a few years. So I, I rang the guys, the tech guys again and said, can we do this? Yep. So we built this thing and then we um, went off to see the union here and talked to them about what was happening. They had no idea what was happening in the States, which surprised me. Um, so and we kept building the site. And then I was I linked up with a guy called Jim Kennelly in New York, who had a, he's got a studio there called Lotus Productions. And uh, we were doing an audition or whatever we were doing, I can't remember. And we had a bit of a chat and he said, you know, do you do anything else apart from voiceovers? And I said, no, 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 this is my thing, but I'm building a, um, a union website for, for casting talent. And he said, uh, well, we could probably do with something like that here. I've been thinking about the similar thing. And I said, well, I, I thought you guys were the guys who were, you know, on the race to the bottom with rates. And he said, no, 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 there's, there's two camps here. There's union, non-union, and there's, uh, you know, the race to the bottom and the people trying to hold on to the industry. So then we connected and he got involved with the business and then I ended up shifting the whole focus of real-time casting to the US. So I thought there's no point sort of trying to, you know, as they would say, build a wall uh, down here. It's better off going in there and um, trying to uh, go head on. And so I did. So it was Jim... Uh, myself and um, and uh, Glenn Millen, who's a guy from down here in Australia. Um, off we went, and we had meetings with the uh, with SAG. Um, talked to them about what we were doing. Would you support us? Uh, yeah, yeah um, you know, maybe. Um, and then we saw all the agents in New York, all the agents in um, LA, and off we went. But the thing, we just never got the marketing to work. And um, and that was unfortunate because we you know we weren't making enough money to bring people in, and we didn't have enough money to bring them in, and then on the hope that we did make money. So it got to a point where it just drifted, 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 and then last year or earlier this year, um, Jim had gone. It was just basically me and a developer guy here. I said, look, just let's get rid of the no payments. Let's just make the thing completely free. Anyone wants to join, great. It's going to be just a, a search engine for anyone looking for voices.